हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर् चानल दिस इज डिपार्टमेंट आफ् अनाटमी गुंटूर मेडिकल कॉलेज वी विल नौ सी इन दिस वीडियो स्कैपुलर मजल सो यू आर सी हियर दिस इज द लेफ्ट स्कैपुल अंड द मजल अटैच टू द स्कैपुल हियर यू आर नईस्ली सी दिस आरिजिन आफ द डेलटा फ्रम दिस क्रस्ट आफ द स्पाइन आफ द स्कैपुल एंड फ्रम द अक्रोमियन प्रासेस् सो दिस डेलटा टेकिंग आलो आरिजिन फ्रम द क्लाविकल it is inserted to the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus which is supplied by this axillary nerve so the axillary nerve we will again see when we see the spaces before that we will finish the remaining muscles so here is what you are seeing is this supraspinatus muscle which takes origin from the supraspinous fossa of the scapula and this is the infraspinatus muscle which is taking origin from the infraspinous fossa of the scapula both these muscles will be supplied by the suprascapular nerve which is the branch from the brachial plexus so now this is the teres minor muscle which takes origin from the lateral border of the scapula and this is the teres major muscle i think you should know what is the meaning of teres teres means round so this is minor and this is major so this infraspinatus teres minor and teres major all these three muscles are inserted to the lesser tubercle of the sorry greater tubercle of the humerus and the subscapularis will be inserted to the lesser tubercle of the humerus now we will see the spaces intermuscular spaces in the scapular region so first we will see this this is the upper triangular space so upper triangular space bounded above by the teres minor and below by the teres major and laterally by this long head of triceps so the content of this upper triangular space is the circumflex scapular artery which is the branch of the third part of the axillary artery now we will see that another space quadrangular space now you can see it is very clear quadrangular above bounded by the teres minor and below bounded by the teres major medially by the long head of the triceps and laterally by the shaft of the humerus you can nicely see the content this is the axillary nerve which supplies this deltoid muscle so axillary nerve and posterior circumflex femoral artery are the contents of this space now this is the lower triangular space you can nicely appreciate the apex of the triangle is below and base of the triangle is above medially it is bounded by the long head of triceps and laterally by the short head of uh, laterally by the shaft of the humerus at contents you can nicely see in this lower triangular space so this thick nerve this is the continuation of the posterior cord of the brachial plexus that is the radial nerve so the radial nerve enters the back of the arm through this lower triangular space these two spaces upper triangular and quadrangular spaces are the gateways from the axilla to the scapular region and this lower triangular space is the gateway from the axilla to the back of the arm so that is the difference between these three spaces so in continuation of the spaces we will see the only one muscle in the back of the arm back of the arm contain only one muscle triceps it has three heads this is the long head of triceps and this is the lateral head of the triceps and this is the medial head of the triceps long head of triceps takes origin from the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula and lateral head of the triceps takes a very linear origin from the posterior surface of the shaft of the humerus above the radial groove and this medial head of triceps is a very takes a vast origin from the posterior surface of the shaft of the humerus so if you see in this in between this lateral head and medial head the radial nerve will be passing in close to the shaft of the humerus that will be called as the radial groove so the, this uh, radial groove is very much important for the surgeons as this radial nerve is in bad communication with the shaft of the posterior surface of the humerus so the contents of the radial groove are the radial nerve and the profunda brachii artery all these three heads unite to form a tendon this long head of triceps lateral head and medial head of triceps unite to form a tendon which is inserted to the superior surface of the olecranon process the nerve supply of the triceps is this radial nerve 
this radial nerve gives separate branches to the long head lateral head and to the medial head of the triceps and the action of this triceps is the extension of the elbow joint i hope you should have understood this scapular muscles in detail and we have covered in this video this is the upper triangular space and this is the quadrangular space and this is the lower triangular space and also we have seen the three heads of the triceps long head lateral head and medial head and also in this video we have seen the radial groove which is formed by this uh, radial nerve with the next dissection in the upper limb we will see in the next video thank you